with your flat ass face, old girl. What's going on, everybody? Team Tommy, aka Slender Blackman here. Boy Too Nice, aka Boy Too Nice. Boy Too Nice. To my left, Mr. we Scare are girl. the No Refunds really Podcast. Go because I'm in a situation. We are. You said it. The No Refunds Podcast. Uh, you may not like. You may not like what we got to say. But too bad because we already said it. On today's show, we got. What was, did you rehearse that one? Take off was a new like album without the top. A new chapter <laughs> to the Nicki Cardi feud. And the bad boys return to duty. Bad boys three. But we finna start the same way we always start, which I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get the same answer out of you that I always get. How was your week? Yo, sir. My shit was lit, bro. Like I ain't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, you, I ain't do nothing, bro. <laughs> you don't have that same enthusiasm every time you come on the show, but it's like the same shit that you do every so, week. So, I mean, it's because I work from home a lot of the time, so I'm relaxing. But I was playing some video game. I bought a whole bunch of video games. I'm gonna tell you something. We could have done. I bought. I bought Assassin's Creed. I'm a, I'm a, yeah, Odyssey. I'm a, yeah, I'm gonna you know tell mean? you something. We could have done. I bought done. some. I bought Red Dead Redemption. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something. Two. We could have done. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I bought Two K. Okay, I'm gonna tell you something. We could have done. But you know what I mean? I, I, I fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? Time went back an hour last night, and it fucked with my brain. So you thought you was well late, but you was really early. I thought I was out of my fucking mind. Uh, so I was about to go to bed at like well, 2 a.m. in the morning. Off. So I saw the clock wind down from 1.59. And then the next time I looked up, it was one oh four. You do be up late as hell, yo. I don't go to sleep. Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> I looked up. The time was like one oh four. I was like, am I high right now? I got to go to sleep. This is, so on, on I didn't weekend, know it was there. Like, say, today is November 4th, right. 2018. Right. Last night was November 4th, 2018. I looked down. It said one fifty nine. And the next hour was one o'clock again. I was like, "Am I hot right now?" And I can't. I gotta go to sleep. So mm -hmm. daylight savings fucked me up, which is why it's so dark outside at five thirty or in the afternoon and shit. Y'all can, can't see it though because <laughs> one, yeah. my my uh, <laughs> my editing's immaculate, so it looked like it's bright in here. It's because we got hella lights out here too. So. Yeah. Professional. That's what we are. We're professionals. But yeah, daylight savings. Happens. If you guys are watching on YouTube, if That's, you guys are listening in, you should watch on YouTube. Daylight savings is not fun though. Um, secondly, I told you off camera, mm -hmm. I got a beef with you because okay. of something you may not know about. That doesn't make any sense. No, it's your fault though. What did I do? Because there's nobody else I can go to. It's it's just me and you in this ship. Exotica. That name sounds familiar. Exotica Expo was in Edison or is in Edison. Oh, I thought you were talking about this a porn weekend. Star. Yes, <laughs> that's what it is. A porn thing. It's an adult film expo, huh? Happening this weekend. Okay. In Jersey, in Edison. All right. That we didn't go to. I didn't know. Yeah, it's your fault. You need to fucking tell me about this shit. We, because one of my boys told me like last night when I told him about it, it was like he was like you could have gone to the expo and asked porn stars questions like we do or like we did at Kane and mm. shit yeah and I didn't fucking know about this shit I follow I follow one of the porn stars that was there Misty Stone so isn't that your fault because you follow her and you didn't know she about didn't it she didn't say anything about it it's her fault it's actually your fault because you don't keep up with shit alright <laughs> I'm, I'm mad I'm fault. mad because like, we could have we could have gone like it's in our neck of the that woods been, that would have been interesting honestly. and we could have asked them questions because like that been they lit. allow cameras in there obviously we're not going to record well, we're not like fucking them or nothing like we don't got to pay them for the shit damn, damn. I wish I would have known before <laughs> yeah. Wait, so did you find out the day of or the day I after I found it like yesterday I think um somebody I think Honey Gold posted about it because I was scrolling down Twitter hmm. and looking at porn on Twitter she posted some <laughs> Wait, shit about it you, yesterday. You watch your porn on Twitter? Yeah, they only got a two-minute limit. Or they, they have a two-minute, 20-second limit, too. Uh, how do you watch porn on Twitter? You just, like, put... They got porn? porn? No, they got channels. They don't have restrictions on YouTube or on uh, Twitter. Well, I know that, but, like, they got channels now on yeah, Twitter? Yeah, they got hella channels on Twitter. See, I, 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 don't, I don't be on Twitter no more, <laughs> so I don't really know how this shit works. They have channels. Yeah, like, no ads, just straight clips. Well, if it's two minutes, you don't really need an ad. Exactly. Nah, I just go to Pornhub. For two minutes? No, for thirty. But then I'd be having. See, my thing is nobody I'll, watching. I open Mad Windows up when I watch porn. Like but I you don't, have people hell. don't watch the porn straight through though. You got. I watch like I watch like five shit. seconds and then I go to. The, uh, <laughs> you're like, hmm, what's this story finna be about? Okay, okay. I, Wait, I like do you that. watch this? Do you watch the um the whole the storyline? I like the setup. 
I, I like the setup. I like to see okay. where, even though the title got the description in, I like to see how the story starts. Bro, them stories be wild. Them descriptions be wild, yo. Yeah, that's why you gotta, that's why you gotta click <laughs> on the videos and watch and uh, see what is going on in there. Young, but, um, young mother is penetrated deeply by it's been a bunch of um foot black like whoa wait a it's minute. been a bunch of uh it's been a bunch of stepmothers and stepdaughters showing up on my ex videos honestly feed. it's on Pornhub. they be i don't know if it's a trend and people just like it but they've been having like a lot of incest stuff I like think oh what it, yeah a father take daughter like wait a minute wait a minute what is what is this what is this, this let me is, click on is, it let me just <laughs> make sure let me just make sure they're not really they don't even look alike <laughs> they're not even related they're not related okay i had to make sure <laughs> definitely gotta <laughs> click on oh, hold on what wait, no it? way yeah, they're not, they not really related. They not, oh, they're, not they're not really. different. She's they're black. Really he's white. Okay, I thought she was mixed. She's and the way that the dudes say whatever relation, relationship they are to the person is like mad weird and shit. Come on, sis. Don't do that. Where they be having a little, little um, the POV, a little point of view camera. <laughs> <laughs> all, her, all her face like, bro, get out of the bathroom. What are you talking about? <laughs> I've had a sister for all of my life. I never called her sis at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it's the only people that called people's sisters when it's not really your sister exactly so yeah that's what so I, that's what right i was right. mad at you about like I, we could have gone blame. fuck it i'm pretty sure they have I'm, i don't know when the next one is but we gotta look that up so we can take i mean honestly show i think at this point you should probably like go to all these strippers or uh, porn stars pages if like see if there's another event coming soon i agree but if i go to their pages I'm gonna look at that video. Gonna and I'm, I'm yeah, gonna you're gonna forget the point of why you were there in the first place. <laughs> I'm gonna get distracted like shit. What was I here for? <laughs> all right, all right. Oh God. <laughs> Sorry, listeners. I apologize. Um, <laughs> before we jump into the first topic, too, motherfucker tried to play me for Boo Boo the Fool yesterday Yo, at work. Give him the hands. Nah, I ain't giving him the hands, but. Nigga ain't walk out with the headphones that he walked with. So, you stole his headphones. I was at work yesterday. I work in <laughs> work in retail. Okay. You this, stole this the dude, headphones. This dude walked up to me. He said, "Uh, he said, yo, I want it." He didn't say, it, but yeah, he said, "Yo, I want these headphones, these Beats Solo Threes and shit." Wait, wait, wait. I was like, "You want he, those?" He, he beats? walked up to you with the what he wanted. No, no, hand? no. It was in. It was locked up. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. so I had to get I had to get the key for him and shit. All right. I was like, "Yo, I want these Beats over here." I said, "Okay, cool." He said, I want those rose gold beats solo threes down there. I said, cool. You want those rose gold or those rose gold? He said, oh, shit. Yeah, I want those ones to your right. I was like, okay, cool. You got any questions on them? He was like, nah, I'm buying these for my girl. I already got a pair, so I'm finna get these for my girl. I was like, okay. okay, cool. His and hers matching headphones. That's dope. I grabbed the headphones for him. I took them over to the register. I say, do you want to get protection on these? He says, no. I said, cool, because we... Don't offer protection for these anyway, because they're Apple headphones nowadays. Wow. So, what, <laughs> what was the point of you saying that then? It's like built into my system nowadays. Oh, okay. I just ask everybody. So if the they other want headphones protection have protection on. Yeah, them. everything else do, but that, but the Apple headphones. So he says no to protection. I said, Wait, cool. Beats are Apple. Yeah, they got bought out. Or Drake got bought oh, out. Oh, that's Apple. right. Yeah, right. Sorry, he did. Okay. okay. I gotcha. say, you want to donate to the kids of St. Jude's today? He says no. I said, cool. You selfish motherfucker. I say, do you want to get an email receipt, a paper receipt, or both? He chooses paper receipt. I say cool. He then proceeds to pay me in cash. The Beats headphones was three hundred and twenty something dollars. He gives me four one hundred dollar bills. I can count that easily. One, two, three, four. Four hundred dollar bills. But I touch the bitches. I touch them. And you ever shook or shook a, a old white person's hands and they just chalky and dusty? Ew. All white people got some dusty ass fucking hands. That was the way that these dollars felt. So I was like, hmm. In my mind, I was like, these feel suspicious. Don't you have the little marker thing? No. These feel suspicious to me. So I call for one of my coworkers, Riri. We're going we're gonna to call her Riri. I call for Riri. I say, Riri, can you come over here and give me a double count? Riri says, no, I'm on FaceTime right now. I said, huh? What? We at work right now. Can you please come over here and give me a double count? She says, no. Okay. So I walk them over to Riri. Did you I uh, show her the hundred dollar bills? Did you report her? No, I show her the hundred dollar bills. I told her I needed a double count. It's four hundred. It's four bills. Four one hundred dollar bills. I don't need to recount. It just feel fake to me. But I don't want him to know that I know that it's fake. So I walk up to her. I show her the bills. She says, "Hmm, yeah, these feel chalky. These is fake." I show them to my boy Kev. He says, 
Yeah, bro. These is fake. So on the, the Jess, she says, oh, yeah, these look fake to me. Then I show him to my manager. He comes over. He says, what are these? I say, I don't know, boss. They look fake to me. He says, give me a minute. I'm going to go in the back, and I'm going to see if they real or not. Obviously, these $100 bills is fucking fake. I walk over to the dude. He comes up to me. He says, what's going on, man? Because he's, he's been waiting at the register for like five minutes, ten minutes now. Word. I say, I ain't going to lie to you, bro. These fucking bills feel fake. He says, fake how? I say, fake as in they not fucking real. Yo, you know a nigga lying. We say, fake how, bro? <laughs> like, fake, fake how? Like, he says, fake how? I say, fake as in they don't feel real. You know a nigga lying, bro. So, yeah. He tried to get one over on me. The manager comes back. He says, yeah. I can't accept these. He tells the dude, I can't accept these. I don't know if they're real or not. Obviously, these bitches ain't real. He says, I don't know if they're real or not, but I can't accept them. Normally, what I would do is I would take this... Take these dollar bills Did you and give them, them to the police. No, I didn't pocket them. And I would call the police in. But for you, because I can't tell that they're real. Dude was black, by the way. Because I can't tell if they're real or not. Was he Nigerian? Yeah. He sounded... <laughs> he had an accent. Niggas, bro. He had an accent to him. I need that he tried to make it seem like he didn't know that the bills was fake and shit. I was like... Do you know who I am? I am Team Tommy, a.k.a. the Slender Black Man. I work in Princeton, New Jersey. You just gave him I touch answer. nothing but big bills all day. All right, talk I that shit. know that this shit is fake. Get your fake ass $100 bills out my establishment for I call the fucking cops on your ass and I beat your ass up. I'm not going to beat you up. I'm small as shit. He's bigger than me. But for the point, like, long story longer, he didn't get away uh, with buying these headphones. Don't try to get shit over on me at my own establishment. Because I'm Team Tommy, a.k.a. the son of the black man, and I touch nothing but big bills all day. So, wait, do people like pay with $100 bills often? No. Normally, people pay with their card and shit. So, how you, you, so you touch cards. <laughs> you touch cards all so, day. Got you. On to the first topic of the day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had to get that story out there because it just happened like last night. Nah, please, bro. Take off! Dropped this album. The Last Rocket. Okay. Uh, November 2nd, Friday. Friday, November 2nd. Right, right, right. 12 songs, 38 minutes, which is the perfect length for me. I listened to the whole thing. What did you think okay. about the album? Because I got a few songs. I actually listened to the whole album this time, and I got a few songs that I like on the <laughs> album, but I want to know your thoughts first. I've talked so, enough already. I only listened to it one time. I normally have to listen to an album a few times just to, you know, really digest it. But I listened to the album one time. And in that one time listening to it, I already knew that this shit was better than Quavo's album. <laughs> so, Did you get that feel too? Because that's the same thing. Like, I thought that's about the, shit too. Like, immediately what I in thought the same was, room, and I feel like, Qua well, Take Off got better bars. He could actually rap as opposed to better than Quavo. That's not what I got from the album, but okay. He can rap better than Quavo. I don't know if that's saying much though. Eh, it's better because they're not known as like they're not known lyricists. as lyricists but sometimes if you like take the time to like digest what they're saying maybe but like a lot of niggas don't they just go for the vibe of the shit how the, how the song feel correct but um and listening to it I the first thing I thought of was this shit is better than Quavo's because Quavo's was fucking like nighttime music like bedtime shit so I was like alright yeah lullaby music where he just put me to sleep this shit was boring <laughs> but um I liked it man I think it was 12, 38 minutes is fucking perfect for this climate that we in. This new generation of music, like, if you're not a fucking lyrical ass dude who like amazing with shit, like, don't give me no hour and a half. Yeah, anywhere between hour. 40 and 45 minutes is, is so, great, and 38 is on the border of 40 stuff. Um, I thought it was cool. I thought it was cool. I appreciated it. I, I said it. I appreciated it. It's, so, as far as moment rap goes, I appreciated that. A couple tr uh, tracks that I liked on the album was. Track number two, which is She Got Wink, and track number four, which is Vacation. And then he had another joint called Lead the Way, which sounded like a Amigos classic type of song. Mm -hmm. I wanted to like his last track, which was uh, called Bruce Wayne, because the beat on it was like, it was decent. And I was like, it, it was unique. And I was like, they, they could do something with this. But turns out he didn't do anything with it. So <laughs> the beat itself was dope, but the the track itself could have could have done more. But overall, like, for 12 songs for three or at least four of them this, those are the three that I, that I liked I feel like at least four of them were, were cool so like 25% of the album 
I liked. So for me, that's a little bit different. So that's a that's a cool album for me. That's like, cool, especially considering you don't really like rap as much as exactly. You like I did this new thing genres. too. I did, I don't know if you do this often or not, but I did this new thing where if I didn't like a song from the beginning, because normally when I listen to somebody's album the first time through, I try to give every song a chance. So even if I don't like the beginning of the song, I try to listen to it straight through. But I didn't do that this time. If I didn't like it you within the first it. minute, straight to the next track. Oh. And that saved me a lot of time. So a lot of 38 hate. minutes was too much. <laughs> no, it wasn't even It wasn't even a matter of the time. It's just like, it's these tracks that I feel like I know I'm not going to like. Because once you get the first minute of the track, you know where the vibe is going to be. You know where the, the fucking style is going to be for that, the rest of the song. So I decided, I was like, after that first minute, if I'm not feeling it, I'll just go to the next track. And sure enough, all the tracks that I skipped was, I went back and revisited them. I was like, yeah, I still don't like right these choice. tracks. Yeah. <laughs> so if you are ever having an issue listening to an album, if you can't listen to an album straight through, listen to it for one minute. See if you're feeling it. If you're not feeling it, skip straight to the next track. That's I do, what that, I did. I do and, that with R&B music. I don't... See, I'm the, I'm the reverse. The I'm... I'm because when I listen to R&B music, I'm more focused on what's going on. Because like, when I listen to rap, I'm usually listening to it for the first time in the gym. So, like when I go to the gym, I can't really pull my it's phone not, out yeah, yeah, yeah. and change the song. I listen to everything straight through. So, um, as far as you know, skipping shit, I don't know. Like I only to, I only listen to it one time, so I don't really know what I would skip or whatnot. I really don't even know the name of the songs well enough, but I just know how I the, I know the vibe. And that's pretty much like why I gotta listen to an album like a few times before I can make a solid judgment on it. But I thought it was I thought it was decent. I okay. thought it was decent. I thought it was better than Quavo. And you thought it was better than Quavo Hancho. Mm-hmm. You know, it's great. Like me listening to that album and then having this newfound exploration of music and shit. I try to go back and listen to Quavo's album too, but it's, it's too many other things. Yeah, when I mean, it, it was the same too, but it was like too many things I had to do otherwise too. But um. I was in the mood to listen to Migos music, so okay. I was like, I'll give Quavo's album a chance. I'll probably give it a chance another or another chance later on in life, but um, I, I feel like to, his, his album wasn't wasn't as bad as I maybe gave it a review of a few weeks ago, Quavo's, but I, I still got to give it a full listen through. I, I, I mean, I can understand that. Like, when sometimes you feel like you might feel differently, like from the way you listen to some shit but not like I said the first time like, just, it's all about the mood that you're in like you gotta be in the mood that's for, why I listen to it a few times because like I I never listen to an album just once and then boom that's it my judgment is there because I don't necessarily <laughs> digest everything in that one time and the gym shit is perfect because you like you said you can't right change okay, I, I gotta I mean, listen to all this shit straight through yeah exactly there's so. actually some other shit that I listen to but I can't even remember so I'm not even gonna get into it um, before we go on to the next topic, so well, we're up. since we're still in the music realm, what's up? Um, Ella May, no, you know, I know how much you love her. So on to the she, Migos. Continuing posted, with the Migos, she posted a picture. So standing next to um, so continuing with standing next to uh, Happy DJ birthday, Ella May. By the way, her exactly, birthday is, it's her birthday, uh, November the third, which and means you almost went off without saying her happy birthday to her. Which means so DJ Mustard is, bought her a truck for her birthday. She is a Scorpio. Did you too. see that the truck that DJ Mustard bought her? Yeah, and you just see them like posted that next to the truck. She's a Scorpio. She's also tall. She's a Scorpio. She was taller than the truck. Here's and what I she need. Was taller than him. <laughs> so I just need you guys to realize, like, understand the fact that Ella May is six foot two. This is why She's Ella like May only three. posts <laughs> normally only posts pictures by herself. She should not lately because because when she posted that video with her and Jacquees and he was standing on a, in the car and he, she was still taller than him. First of all, like I said, Jacquees uh. is three foot eleven. That nigga's a classified little person and shit. All right, but LMA is a classified big person then. She's no, a and DJ Mustard is a little person too. And and before we get truck? started, also what about that truck? Uh, DJ, what's that boy name? Envy? Um, not DJ. Um, Dream. The Dream. The Dream. I don't know why I said DJ. The Dream. The Dream is short too. So if you ever see a picture they, of they had LMA, a picture together. No, if you ever see a picture of why Dream you, and LMA, why are you giving a disclaimer? Because I mean, I want to put out all the short people that's out nah, in the army. In DJ realm right now, nice. DJ Khaled oh. is also short too. So if you see a picture of LMA post up next to DJ Khaled and she's taller than him, it's because DJ Khaled is short. 
I need LMA to stop posting pictures with other people next to people. But bro, that's gonna be her life. <laughs> next to people, that's not me. She's gonna be not like she's her. gonna have to like go take pictures with with, with um. She don't got to with with nah, um. She, nah, she keep, no. But she imagine keeps to this: herself. you're you're a celebrity, right? You're mm-hmm. gonna go to a function. You did a concert. You're gonna have to take pictures with all the fan, well, most of the fans, and you're taller than all of them. Like, how does that? How does that look? When you taking pictures, you like leaning on them like this and shit, and this nigga's like six foot two. <laughs> like, I'm just saying, bro. She a, was the center. I had a Google Google or LMA picture. She had a chance to play for the uh, LA Sparks. Yeah, shut up. Uh, LMA was. Shut mean jump shot. So I guess we going into this now. She don't. LMA. First of all, Cardi B shouted out LMA and SZA for her. So, going on to the next topic. Why Cardi, Cardi B, B shout out LMA? Cardi B and uh, Nicki are back at it again. They had Ooh. a feud. They had a war of words we'll over see. social it, media this week. But it was short lived, though. We'll say that much. It was short lived, but still, they they went through they Go went through a lot, lot of back shit. and forth. So, but there's a bunch of old shit that we've discussed before. So to go real back quick, real quick before we move up? on. So what happened? What sparked the beef was apparently. Cardi B's sister Hennessy was saying a lot of things about um about just that's not her real name. It's not her real name, but that's what she goes about. I mean Cardi B is not her fucking real name either, but we still call her that. I figured. So Cardi and her name is like some Harry Potter spell or something like that. Um, <laughs> anyway, so um so the, Hennessy was saying some things and saying some bullshit. And then I guess uh Cardi B felt inclined to respond. Or I guess she was waiting for a reason to respond because it sounded like Cardi, Cardi uh, Nikki, had this on her mind for a minute. No, Nikki. Nikki had a shit. Like, she'd been waiting to say something for a second. So Nikki was like, all right, well, fuck it then. Nikki got on her Queen Radio shit. Let me just say that I think that any time that Nikki's on there ranting on her Queen Radio shit, that is fucking trash. I think that's way fucking below you to be doing that shit. But once again, that's her taking her attention away from her own talent to put time into talking about somebody else that she believes is underneath her. Right. So, um, so Nicki Minaj went on some fucking crazy rant. She was talking about how bad Raleigh rocked Cardi. Right. Yeah. Beat her the fuck up. Punch her eight times. I got a camera footage, but I need somebody to give me the real camera footage. So <laughs> to me, it's like, oh, you're going to, you're going to fucking footage. There's no fucking footage. If you saying that she punched her eight times in the fucking face, eight times, all those guards there, all the security guards there. There's no fucking way. I don't believe that. And even caught it did, himself. Like we did not mention that, that there we was. Got the, we got the footage. We did mention that there was an altercation between Raw Lee uh, and Cardi B on one of our earlier podcasts, but um, they, that was they, false they, No, it was. It was apparently it's real. Apparently I mean, it's real. No, the well, we talked about uh, a few weeks before, about the, the fashion week thing. That and the knot that she got on her head. Right. So the knot was right. from security. So whatever, what, that, that's what was Raleigh. said. What Nicki Minaj is saying was that that not didn't come from security; it came from Raleigh. You know what's crazy? Either and way, it initially didn't come from that's Nikki, what we so. said from a source that will remain nameless. Was told that uh, that um, is it nameless because we don't know it. I know it, but I'm not going to name them. Say it. No. Uh, why not? Because clickbait. Yeah. What? It doesn't make any sense. Don't worry about it. Anyway, so um, <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah. So apparently that not didn't come from security. It came from Raleigh, according to Nicki Minaj. So she went on this rant, talk shit. They talking about oh this deal. I be getting more deals than you. And then Nicki goes, ah, no, you don't, because I those deals that you get, I pass up on. And then Cardi goes, well, the deals that you get, I passed up on. Right. So a lot of fucking bickering, catty bullshit. Right. Right. So you so, got the, you got the Nicki side of things. I got the Cardi side of things. I. You sent me the video of Cardi going off on her Instagram. Because Cardi went off for like a bunch fucking, of fucking thirty minutes. Yeah, she did. Yeah, and, and I, I wasn't was like, I wasn't about to okay, watch all of them. <laughs> but pretty much <laughs> she was just talking about, oh, it is that you ruining your legacy by going all this bullshit, you acting crazy. Nicki Minaj I will say that she is acting crazy. You do not need to be acting like this because you do you do not see any other people in your class or of your caliber reacting to new artists like this. Like imagine Drake beefing with fucking um it wouldn't happen. Fucking little little Yachty like this. You wouldn't it wouldn't fucking happen, right? So I think that shit is fucking below Nikki for one. And it's trash. And, and we talked I about that before too. I understand that you feel you may I think she may feel threatened because Cardi B just came like she came like a fucking storm. Like, and like everything And everybody loves her. Everything that Nikki was going at Cardi at was pretty much that you don't write your own raps and will. Yeah. 
out out rap you and shit like the the reason why and Nikki or not Nikki, this is why I like Cardi. Real Cardi quick. said this. What what's up? So she goes, Nikki goes, I'll out rap you, and Cardi goes, Yeah, I'll beat you up though. <laughs> Fuck with Cardi, son. That's that's what I like. I bet that's you exactly like, why I write Rizzo, Cardi. like Cardi said. Like Nicki wants to go back on this. This I got the best lyrics and shit. But like um, Cardi never claimed to be the best lyricist and shit. Or oh, she never even made it about that. Like exactly when you when you're attacking her, you're attacking her personally. You're bringing up things that have nothing to do with her music. Like anytime that um, Nicki attacks Cardi, Riley beat you up. You did this. I got this deal. You didn't get this deal. Bro, that's personal shit. So, if you're attacking me personally, I feel a way, and I see you, I'm going to try to put hands and on when you. And I, when, I when I bought this topic up to begin with, like, uh, Cardi, in one of, her, one of her many rants on the videos that she posted on Instagram, was like, when SZA and when LMA had a hit, a smash hit, people wanted to listen to the rest of their body of music after that. It's the same thing for Cardi. They don't. People don't really care about if you writing your own shit or not. Cause does it sound good? Yeah, they they just worried about if it sounds good. If you have one hit to hang on to, somebody or people will listen to the rest of your hits or the rest of your music just to see if you get a grasp of what yeah. you're really about and shit. And it's it's the same shit we talked about. Like just because Cardi is popular right now, it doesn't make her. The, the queen of hip hop and shit doesn't mean mm-hmm. that she's a better lyricist than Nicki Minaj. It's just saying right. that she's more popping, popping right now. You're popping, you know like what I'm she's putting out music that people are more relating to than Nicki Minaj right now. You can't deny that. And it's, it just goes to her personality. People like Cardi. They like her. Exactly. As far as Nicki Minaj's personality, they don't really you like You can't that. relate to it, so you don't fucking know about right. it. Right. All they see is her being childish and petty to somebody who's brand new in the game. So. Off rip, you come off as, um, you know, not a likable person. So, people like the real, the genuine shit. And that's Cardi. She embodies that, that real, genuine, grimy shit. Nicki Minaj is like, she's coming off as being petty and a whole, a lot I mean, of she's shit. She's coming off as a character, too. Right. Like, you never really know what's the real Nicki Minaj. When Miss Teacher was up here, like, we talked about this shit, too. Like, she comes off as a character. Nikki comes off as more as a character, and uh, Cardi comes off as more of a personable person. Somebody Genuine, that you, yeah. You know, like somebody you will fuck with. Like, oh, that's yeah. my homie right there. Like, exactly. I like her. So, and, and, and never again, make friends with actresses, huh? Never make friends with actresses. And uh, Nikki went to that was school. Deep, yeah, Nikki went to school for acting. Right. So she. This might not even be trust, a real her. Yeah, you can't trust. Right. Motherfuckers that. This could again. This could be her whole or entire actors, persona. I said the same thing about. Um, well, I said the same thing about Drake before. I don't know if I said it on the podcast, but well, I, I read this somewhere, and I, I think it was uh, Vince Staples that said this. He said that Drake is the biggest troll because he's not even a fucking rapper. He's a fucking actor, and he's portraying himself as a, a rapper. And he's like the entire world bought into it, and he's like the top of the fucking food chain right now. That's talent. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm not listen. Because even before um, Drake, Drake was Drake out, is. like I was, I was rocking with, or I was rocking with Jimmy in the wheelchair from right. Degrassi. Like you know that it's I like watched that too. I watched, I, I watched I Degrassi. Too. The you know what I mean? the I next generation, that. like the older school Degrassi, because they made with some new episodes after that. Was like the first generation. Yeah, that show was dope when it came out, and that's where Aubrey, aka Drake, came or got his name from. But before we go into that. To wrap up this Nikki and Cardi thing, they got a scrap, right? In person, they should. I feel like they should. Cause if if not, it's just gonna be them going. I don't back think. And forth, I don't think Nikki will though. Cause no, Nikki definitely won't. Cause yeah, she'll have to like people don't. People there. like the, the minute they associate, oh, she's from New York or whatever, they all automatically think that they hood. Nikki went to performing arts school. She was a fucking Cardi top of her too. class, but Cardi was fuck from the hood, and she claimed that Nikki went to like the best schools. Like, she was top of her class. She was a fucking nerd. Like, you know what I'm saying? And so, I feel like her now is a persona. That's like why she, I said you can't She got trust her body done. And that's another thing. Like, I guess they talk shit about, oh, you know, I look better than you. Nikki was... All of y'all is fake. Right. That's my thing. Like, all of y'all have got work done. So, it's like, what... <laughs> Are we comparing here? Who had a better doctor? Who had a better surgery? Like, whose doctor yeah, was better? Exactly. First of all, Dr. Miami hooked me up. Like, all right. 
All right, cool. First of all, I went in that room. I was only in there for two. I was only out of commission for two weeks. You was out that bitch for a month. Like, what? Word. Like, my stitches is gone. You don't even see my <laughs> stitches no more. Like, look at that. That shit is, my shit is gone. <laughs> got a goddamn. So, yeah. No, that shit is trash. Either they got to scrap or they got to they gotta stop with this back and forth shit because it's not going to lead anywhere. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be clipped. I think, honestly, when it comes to um, um, Nicki Minaj's Queen Radio, I think she does that shit just for the viewers. She like, gotta get views. views. I, I respect yeah. it because every time that she's, every time I hear about Queen Radio, it's always some it's controversial. Only about, the some only time I've heard about her radio show was it's about wild, Cardi, show, right? So. And I think that's fucking that's whack. And like, I'm pretty sure her show is was it either weekly or daily? I think she's um yeah. That's just I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. I don't even listen to that shit. I always hear her, like I'll listen to clips from on like the Shade Room or some shit like that. And even then, they only post clips about the most controversial shit. Right. Most of her controversial. Because I'm pretty shit sure the rest of that uh fucking radio is boring. Is trash. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't want to. I don't want to hear <laughs> Nicki Minaj all day. I don't want to. I think that I think that her her doing that was like her way of trying to like get people to see her personality. But she it's it's a it's a business play because she knows what's gonna get her buzz. And I think also it's because shows, of yeah. um right now like podcasts and radio that shit is lit right now. So it's like um Joe Budden he's so he uh has a deal with Spot uh Spotify a multi million a multi million dollar deal with Spotify. So nigga ain't got a rap. No. So I mean, he wasn't kinda, gonna rap regardless because he he says he retired. So. Right. So, like, that's his lane now. And I guess when people see that, like, oh, you can make a make million dollars of off of talking. You know, like, yeah. All I got to so, do is say shit. That's right. On my mind and shit. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I so, I think too. that what she trying to do is, like, follow in those, foot, in those footsteps and try to, you know, shit, like, sell her shit to somebody else. But what she's doing right now, I feel like she just, you know, I feel like it's not genuine, for one. I feel like you're just trying to be the most controversial person at the at on the day or the week or whatever the case may be she got somebody in her ear telling her you got to talk about this shit so you can get the views you can get the listens you can get the streams but what happens when there's nothing to talk about when there's no beef like your shit is boring then nobody listens exactly you just not i think she's gonna like start start to cling to the guest like oh i got drake here today that shit like it's not gonna last it's not gonna last you can't have drake every week (laughs) <laughs> this shit is not gonna last and I don't feel like she's interesting enough to want to listen to for two hours no not at all speaking of people that are acting Brittany mm. Renner mm. posted a very awkward bundle video, of Brittany very awkward video this week uh, kinda to promote her book which is titled Judge This Cover but um, the reason I say it was awkward is because it's like her video the, the one that she sent me from her channel it's like a bunch of cuts and shit. You know how we do like retakes when we post some videos on right, right, right. on Instagram and shit? Yeah. It was like that, but she wasn't holding the camera, but she was still editing shit out. So you can tell like she was like, she I was trying to act, but also promote her shit at the same time. It's like, uh, I don't really want to. It was cringy. It was, yeah. it was cringy for sure. Yeah. So like she, she hopped on the camera and started doing like a monologue <clears> to <throat> herself and she was like, what are you doing? Um, But yeah, she has a book out with a tell all about the, all I guess, the famous people that she had sex with. Not only that, celebrities. <laughs> not only that, but her um the video you sent me because I wasn't even about that. It was about her. She was claiming that she has she has her own and she was able to fly herself out to see these people and that she if she likes somebody or she really feels for somebody, she don't mind taking a flight out to see them and shit and basically yeah to fuck them and shit. So, my question... Real quick, before we move on from that, I yeah. want to stay on this topic real quick. No, no, we're not moving on from that. I was going to ask you a question but about it. Specifically that, I don't... How do you feel about the tell-all book? How do you feel about, like, girls putting out tell-all books about the, the celebrities that they fucked? For me, like, for me personally, I don't, I don't care. Because normally it's only... Or normally it's women that do it and... I don't care about Imagine you're a celebrity about their sexual life. Imagine you're a celebrity because Kevin Hart had a book out and Charlamagne had a book out too with a technically a tell all but it's not all about sex and shit. Well no, this is this is different. A tell all pretty much you're telling all of the fucking sexual experience you had with who. So is that you you should follow in the, the foot uh footprints of uh Superhead. Uh, Superhead. I think that's corny because like what what's the point behind that? I feel like cause you're name dropping people. 
That's what, what you I was trying to, to That's like, what I was going to get to too. Yeah, like what are you trying to you trying you name dropping to get your book to sell? You're going to get buzz based off the, the names. The people. That's yeah, it. the names. You know what I'm saying? People, names of the people that you've And because you're a fucking famous as IG model who has millions of followers, that's to me that's corny. Like I feel like as a, a act of desperation. What the fuck can I do to make money now? I mean, I don't no know. matter what I it thought, is, I thought this fucking IG shit was gonna really make me money. <laughs> I don't know. Well, what you do? Uh, you can you can talk about the guys you fucked. Oh, that's a good idea. That's what it like, is. Like that's t- come on. Like I feel like that's an act of desperation. I, ain't gonna I don't front. like it. I'm not a fan of that type of shit. Like, I'm not a fan of airing personal business out because for one, nobody knows like who's fucking who you've been out here fucking because they don't. They, nobody knows that and they don't judge you for that, right? I ain't gonna front. But if they know, now you have a certain people looking at you a certain kind of way. I ain't gonna front. If somebody presented me with money based on my experiences that I had, I'm taking that fucking money and I'm telling everything <sighs> about everybody. Yeah. But it's different for it's different for dudes because it's it's not as looked down upon as it is for me yeah. and shit. So for her to come out and say all the shit that she's about to say or that she did say in the book. Like eventually, it's it's gonna be some shit that's gonna come up because the book is out now. Um, people haven't posted about this shit yet, but it's going to be people that we know about or that we hear about in the book. So well, we're gonna have to talk about, about celebrities about shit. in the book, and we're gonna have to talk. Right. We're not gonna talk about regular niggas, and shit. so for sure, yeah. That's why because she, she wants that. She wants that click. She wants click. It's like clickbait. It's gonna be shit it's where book. it's gonna be shit where it's gonna be like, do you? feel a different way about this dude because he flown her out and shit mm. knowing her reputation and shit but like for dudes it's like we we you know want to have sex before with yeah before we fly you out we know what you're gonna if you not if we fly you out and you don't give us what the fuck we looking for and shit which is mostly sex like why the fuck are we flying you out and shit yeah and it's like you, it's a waste that goes back to that whole future situation like you know you fly yourself out because I'm not about to fly you out and then I don't get shit that was a, a fu- waste well, of that money that was like uh, Cap that was Cap right no okay in the book or it's Cap fu- oh yeah but I mean the whole future situation where it happened he was like I'm good love and joy cause oh, the girl right. didn't want to fuck him so yeah exactly right and, and, that's, and that's that goes that goes to the same thing like just because you have money doesn't mean I'm gonna waste fucking money and time on you like I get it I'm a celebrity. I don't have time to chop it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, With I got, somebody I got I'm, business to attend to. If, if I'm if I'm flying you out from another right. state, like you know exactly. I don't want to say. I don't, don't want to say. I, I don't have time to chop it up. That's not what I meant to say. My thing is this: if I'm if we know what it is as far as like you know, all right, we're just gonna. It's just a sexual attraction type of thing. Then, cool. and by the way, if a if a dude hits you up and you haven't seen him before, if you don't know what he's about, more than likely it's not going to be about conversation and shit. Right. If it's about conversation, if he'll approach you, he'll, you. His first message will be about that shit. If he's offering to fly you out, honestly, he's not offering to fly you out to talk. Exactly. Like, I could talk to him exactly. on the phone. So I can FaceTime there. you. I can text you. And Drake was on um, social media too with uh. I think Drake this, was in that book also. Chick, well, Drake fucked her too. I don't care about that. There was a chick in the UK, and I don't remember what her name is, but... Stefflon Don. Oh, was that her? Yep. That Drake was on FaceTime with? Stefflon Don. Committing his love to her and shit? She's a rapper. But even on there, even... She's thick as shit, but even on there, like, Drake was admitting to her, like, if I come out to see you or whatever, it's not gonna be no no shady shit. It's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly you out to be, to be real with you and shit, so... Normally, I don't know if it's a celebrity thing, but like, normally niggas in general will tell you what it's about if we come to see you if you come to see us and shit right I think that's I think I think celebrities are more upfront than anything because yeah. they don't they don't want to waste their time because honestly time is valuable to them and if you they know have, a celebrity you know they right. can get any any girl they woman want. that so they want and shit. for them to like yo if you fly out here I'll give you that money back but what you're not gonna do is waste my money exactly I understand that I'm not mad at that and I guess a lot of girls are mad at that because they're like oh well you should if you were the fucking celebrity you should be paying my, my flight you should be doing this and then you just don't fuck them and then but what? the thing about the Britney Renda video like, free she, like, she said she has her own money so she can afford to fly, fly herself out she also said if you but can't she, but she's complaining though yeah she also said if you can't afford to fly out then don't go out you broke bitch I'm like chill the fuck out if women, if a if a dude sends you money or 
pays you to come out to go see him and shit. If you're down with the business and shit, then fucking take that flight out there. Use his money to go out there and shit and explore the world and shit. Like, but if you're not down with it, then stay your ass home. I agree with that. But if somebody's offering to pay for your flight and you, you stay wherever the fuck he's at and shit, then yeah, fucking go for it. I don't care if you got your own or not. Like, most people, or a lot of people don't, most people don't got their own shit to go fly out on their own at the drop of a dime and shit. So we kind of stumbled onto a good topic right here. How do you feel about girls or somebody, if, you, if you're trying to talk to somebody or just have sex with them, how do you feel about them traveling to see you or you traveling to see them? Like, if they, if they offer to come see you or would you talk to them into coming to see you as opposed to you going to see them? We're talking about me being regular team Tommy, a.k.a. If some you, black man person, or just me being a celebrity. your whole name every single time? Yeah. So, like, all right, say you you, did, you 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 talking to somebody on IG or Facebook or whatever the fuck. Am I a celebrity or am I just me? It is you. Okay. It is you, right? And you want to see this person, and they like, yo, come see me. But like, no, yo, you come see me. And you know what I'm saying? Like, do you feel like you as a man should go see them, or do you feel like they should come see you? I don't fucking know to be honest with you. Like, it's a it's situations where, depending on the the conversations that y'all have been having and shit. Have you had any situation like that? Uh, like somebody come came to see you. Like, was the furthest somebody traveled to come see you? Probably like an hour and a half. <laughs> somebody came from well, somebody came from Delaware. Okay. But no, she also went to school in the area that I work at. So it, for right. her to drive up to that school is like it's regular shit so it depends on what you expect from the situation if y'all haven't established the fact that y'all want to y'all can it's two two ways this shit can go you can either establish the fact that y'all want to get to know each other and meet them get to know each other and shit or y'all about business and y'all just want to fuck word so if you establish the fact that you just want to fuck then i don't really care who goes to see who do you travel for pussy I have, what but the it was the furthest you travel for pussy. The furthest like an hour and a half, but it was because I was in a relationship and she lived an hour and a half away. So well, that I'm not count. I'm not talking about relationships. I'm not going if I don't establish that mindset to where I'm going out there to so we, so we can have a good time and shit. I'm not finna go out there and see you unless I'm like really interested in you and shit. I'm not going out to see you and just just talk to you and shit. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like in that conversation that y'all have in between. You going out to see her and just y'all talking to shit. Y'all got to establish what type of relationship y'all in. If y'all just talking to each other, then y'all can go out and drive towards each other. Y'all can meet halfway and then have conversation in person and shit if y'all not seeing each other in person on the regular. But if you if you say to me, like, essentially, I'm coming out there to fuck and then we don't fuck, then we got an issue. <laughs> if I gotta waste my fucking gas money <laughs> to see you, and then we don't do nothing but talking shit. So, like, you, you, have you had that happen? Like, somebody was talking all that good shit, and then like it just nothing went down. No, I haven't. Okay. Recently. Recently, I'm talking about in your sexual. Well, no, because I had history. a situation where we didn't really talk about it, but you we had and then nothing happened. Yeah, we had had the first time we met, we had had um. The first time we met, we did it, and shit, we made whoopee. And so the second called, time on, I saw her, back. I drove out to see her. I was expecting the same thing, but we weren't talking beforehand and shit. But like, our only relationship before then was us flirting or messing around and shit. So when I drive out to see you an hour and a half, it's like I expect to get what I got the first time I met you and shit. And then. That didn't happen. She tried to get me to sleep on the couch and shit. I'm like, no. And I fucking drove back home and shit. And I had a rant on uh, Snapchat and shit. So <laughs> that shit didn't work out the way that I wanted it to. But you got to establish that beforehand. Before you go out there. Before you take that flight. Before you take that drive. Like, am I really going out here for what I'm thinking I'm going out there for? Like, so, okay. So in that situation, who, who are you putting the blame on? Yourself for not establishing it? Or for her for like kind of leading you on? Shh. I'm putting it on both of us. Okay. Because I'm putting it on her for not telling me that she was... She told me after I got there, but she was talking to somebody that she seen 
to have a, a deep relationship with and turns out she's dating a dude now so it was official or it was legit at the time but i didn't know that shit i put it on me for not telling her point blank what i was coming out there for so i put it on it's it's both parties it take two people to tangle and shit so i put it on both of us for me not asking her or telling her or letting my intentions known on what i wanted and her for not telling me what her situation was until i got there and shit so it was on both of us have you ever been in a similar situation and shit um i've traveled for i kind of knew that i wasn't gonna get no pussy but i kind of liked the person yeah so i, I think yeah. I, the furthest i did was like i drove like an hour for a girl and nothing happened but other than that like um it's not intentional i guess like i didn't force it to happen but like i was in a situation where i had an apartment by myself like i had my own space i was living with like parents and like, i had like a roommate but then anyway so when I talked to like girls who weren't in my state or in my vicinity area, vicinity. you try to use big words and shit. And I slurred it because I was drinking and shit. Like, <laughs> just say area, nah, son. But he, but he, but he, but he area. So anyway, um, <laughs> I was dating, I was like talking to girls who live like in South, um, and all, all the other bullshit. But they were like they were living with their parents, they living with their whatever. So they were like, okay, well I'm gonna come stay with you for a little bit. So the furthest that somebody traveled to come. You know, I guess because we ended up fucking was like from Florida. They flew. Jesus. They flew. She didn't fly out there to see you though, did she? Yeah. Oh, you. Yeah. Okay. Multiple times. Okay. Well, twice. Multiple. 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 Anyway, so yeah, More I've had once. um, <laughs> I've had a girl fly from Florida. I've had girls uh, take bus like greyhounds from like Virginia, drive from Maryland. Yeah. Uh, the bus from Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> they took the bus. She took the bus. I had to pick her up in the Greyhound from the uh, from North Penn, uh, Penn Station. That's fine. She took the longer distance. Right. So I mean, I've had it happen, and like pretty much the end result was we had sex. But the first I did and nothing happened was like I drove for like an hour. So I, I I genuinely liked the person, and then we just kicked it for like an hour or whatever, however long. I don't remember how long it was. And nothing happened. And what pissed me off is that I never got to sleep with that person ever. Um, to this yeah, day, eventually just stopped talking and shit. Yep, exactly what happened. Like we, every time we chilling, we vibing, everything is fucking cool. It's great. But like the minute we don't, like I leave who out finna of be sight, the first out of person. mind. It's it's that thing where who finna be the first person to make the move and shit. You know what's funny about that situation? Like <laughs> me and this girl in particular. Um, the first time we ever hung out, I made a move on her. Like, you know, um, I never wanted to be like, I never wanted to, um, like, I don't like to like play the innocence for too long. If you know what, if, if I'm coming to see you, I want you to know what I'm coming out here to see you for. So like we kicking it, we hanging out. Like I made a move. I kissed her at least, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, you got to make sure this, you got to tell us it's not finna be no, right. It's not, I'm shit. not out here playing bro. Like this is some real <laughs> shit, son. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like, you know, and I don't know what it was. Like every time with me and this girl in particular, every time that we would like, uh, talk, it's like, it's dope. We have great conversations, but then we'd always end up like going <laughs> the other Except direction. Like yeah. I start dating somebody, she started dating somebody. And then like we will become single around the same time. And then we would start. And you start talking to each other. Again. Right? And we would hang out and all this other shit. And it's cool. And we vibe in. And then we just kind of go into the same pattern. And I've had that situation with like a couple girls, honestly. Where like nothing ever like sexual happened. But then it was like a lot of back and forth shit. But. That's part of it too. Like if you don't. If you don't. If you don't mess around. Or if you don't uh, stick in there or shit. It's like. That infatuation is still there to where you want to be yeah, like, you curious. I, I want to know what it's what it's like to be with her. And shit. So you, not now, but you may still try your your hardest to try to get with that that one person that denied you. Yeah, like you at least want to get it. Because like, all right, boy, we've been playing back yeah. and forth. And it's a you thing like me. I like dude, you. It's, it's a thing where are you doing, son? if if you've held off for this long, it's it's the point where it, it must be something special to where I gotta work harder for it. Yeah, that's, because like sometimes you have through. you have those girls where you just do them dirty because they like that. If they you give know? it up easily, then it's right. like 
you won't do them dirty because you they look easy. Yeah, because if it, but then you, you have, have the girls, it's like, nah, I can't like, do whatever. dirty because you look like you're a little, you're a little reserved. So I gotta play this shit smooth. You gotta be smooth. You gotta. Put you know what I'm saying? I gotta like, you know, I got, I gotta be GQ with it. Like, I gotta make sure everything is the stars is aligned, and you're doing all this extra shit and being extra nice, more nice than you would be to your average girl who's right. more freakier. Right. So. And then it ends, up, it ends up backfiring on you. Like you don't you don't necessarily get the draws, but it's all good because like happens. yeah, I'm not pressed. Like I, there's been pl- plenty of situations where I've hung out with a girl and then nothing happened, and I like wish something would have happened. But I mean, you can't be mad about that. Like you're not gonna get every single girl that you want. Exactly. And I think guys should really understand that and stop <laughs> forcing themselves onto women because that is not good at all. Like. If they're not if they're not feeling you, then you you gotta take the L sometimes, yo. Like you gotta accept that. Because most people can't, or a lot of people can't. But it comes with time. Like at a certain age, you realize you're not gonna be able to get everybody that you may necessarily want. Yo, what's like the situation like, like, like that kind of like fucked you up because you really wanted that person bad and you thought you was gonna get him? Mm, let's know next time. We gotta move on because we've been talking about this shit for two entirely too long. I want to give a quick shout out before we go on to the next topic or the mm. one of our last topics. Okay, shout him out. Grab it real quick. I want to give a quick shout out to a young gentleman by the name of, and I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, Salif Lesos. So he's French, but I don't know if he actually pronounces his name in a French accent or shit. Uh, it's spelled S A L I F space. L A S O U R C E. And if you don't know who I'm speaking of, if you've seen the video either on Twitter or on Instagram or any of your social media of this young man uh, dancing to Rock With Me by Michael Jackson in obviously not an American place, he's doing like a moonwalk, smooth as hell. His dance moves is on point. That young man finally got a name for himself, and his name is Salif. His first name is Salif, his last name is Lasource. Shout out to him for being dope for one and then just being able to get his name out there just based on that one video that you may have seen on. We'll post a video whenever we get it or post it on uh, YouTube. But uh, shout out to Salif. He's dope. Wish him the most success. You know about Salif, right? Who? Salif. The, the, the dancing dude? Yes. From France? Yes. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I just gave a shout out to. Like his, I was telling like his, Michael, he got famous off, like literally, that he got Michael famous Jackson off video. of that one Michael Jackson video. I saw, I went to he his page. Million, he got a million followers. Exactly. Um, I went to his page today. He has like 1.2 million. He shouted out. He made sure to give praise to the people that gave him praise. And I think The Rock shouted him out. I think Kevin Hart Somebody else with a big name also shouting out like that dude is talented as shit. He has a part two to that video on his page. The part two is not as good as the part one. I'll just say that. I feel like the it's part lit though. Well, no, look, as, let me, I, I can let, appreciate let me this because part I said, one, his moonwalk. I don't know if y'all noticed or not. He had a sick. He had a sick. Michael moonwalk. Jackson only did the moonwalk for like one point two seconds, and he never did the moonwalk ever fucking again. Uh, That's facts. Not true. Look, no facts. Look it up. That's not true. At all. This dude. You're not gonna do that. This I, dude, Salif. I used to idolize no, Michael, no, no, no. bro. This dude, Salif, did the moonwalk for five, at least five to ten straight seconds, and at the end of his shit, it looked like he was like, his movements was so on point. It was like you can't deny this man. His well, you can tell he shit. studied Michael. Like he studied the fuck out of Michael. Well, you can tell he he studied the moonwalk and shit, but the rest of his moves. No, he he knew the whole routine. That, all, everything that was in that video wasn't from the routine. Yes, it was. No. That whole fucking thing was no, the Michael Jackson it. routine. Yes. So yes, he's a great dancer. Yes, he can do shit outside you, of the routine. Did you see part but two? You could tell he studied that routine. Did you see part two? Have you seen that Michael? Have you ever First seen Michael all, Jackson? Part one didn't start with Michael Jackson sitting on a, uh, a stool or sitting down. That wasn't. He wasn't doing shit though. That 
That wasn't nothing that, special. No, that shit itself is fucking talent. Like him, his he's movements are so move like yes, he's dope. He's absolutely dope. But my point is, he when you study, well, he studied Michael Jackson. When you study somebody, you're not gonna. It wasn't just, just Michael. You're Jackson. not gonna just do what them moves, they did. Them moves. You're gonna try to do what they did and ele- elevate it. Like correct, but those Chris Brown doesn't do Michael everything Jackson. that Michael Jackson does now. But Chris Brown studied the fuck out of Michael Jackson. That's my point. But I'm saying, his moves weren't just. Michael Jackson type. I'm not saying that they just were. I'm saying that his his um what he did that it was a Michael Jackson routine. You would never see Michael Jackson do anything like what. Have you ever? Okay, I don't feel like you. Maybe maybe. No 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 no. You can look up all the clips that Michael Jackson ever did. I have watched everything. I was a big fan. I was a fucking huge fan. He didn't do half the shit that Young Man Salif did in this video, and it's 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 cool because it's like the evolution of the. It's the same thing as like basketball and shit. Okay. When time comes along, like you eventually evolve and you see shit that you've never seen before. It's like Michael Jackson didn't have access to the type of moves that Salif had access or moves to. Like it's things where you can incorporate Michael Jackson into your routine. Who you think and then better? Incorporate a bunch of other things that make it look a lot. A lot cleaner, a lot smoother than what it did when it first came out and shit. That's just the way that it is. Yeah, I'm. I'm not knocking that. I'm saying that you're gonna, you're going to elevate. You're going to again. You want to be better than your master. But my point is that was his fucking his. He idolized him. You can tell he idolized him, and he studied him. That little nigga look like 18 years old. I don't think he. I don't think he. I don't know if he's 18, but you could you. Uh, if you don't know that, then okay, I can't argue with you because you're not in that in that uh, world where, as far as like dancing world, you know what I'm saying? So, Nigga, you not in that dancing world. I used to. <laughs> yes, I was. No, you weren't. You yes, weren't I ever think it dancing. was. You weren't doing dancing. anything that Michael Jackson or Salif was doing. First of all, I'm You could crazy. barely do the Dougie. My moonwalk is crazy, son. <laughs> no, it's not you. My moonwalk is L-A-N, crazy, son. L A N, you lying ass nigga. I'm a, my moonwalk is fucking crazy, son. You know what I'm saying? On to the next topic, you liar. No. Nah, yo, first, yo. Nah, fuck I'm it. telling y'all, it's right. official. Bad Boys 3. <coughs> yo, yo, y'all don't deserve. Will Smith was entirely too happy. Will Smith was happier than Michael <laughs> Martin Lawrence was, first of all. Martin, yo, that first man of all, was entirely too happy. <laughs> Like I think Will Smith, like Will Smith is fifty. I think um I think um I don't know how old Martin Lawrence is, but they around the same. Yeah, I think I feel like Martin, Martin is older. older. Let me okay. let me Google this. I'm, I don't want to put the facts out there, but <laughs> but are you, are you excited? Like, are you excited? <laughs> no, I'm not excited. I don't like so I don't like remakes, but this is not a remake. I don't like sequels that take. He's fifty three entirely. Too long to come out with. Damn. How old is uh? You said Martin is fifty three. Martin fifty three. How old is Will Smith? Fifty. Okay. Tisha Campbell is fifty years old. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey Gina. There's, yeah, duh, they were in the same team, though. I, I know. They're around the same age. It just kind of hurts my heart. To, like you, you're fifty. Damn. Not me. She. she Wait. Had a few wait years whoa. 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 Martin was you, born you in are Germany. Going completely off track and shit. Martin was born in Bad Germany. Bad Boys Three. Son, did you know Bad that? Bad Boys 3. No, I didn't. Okay. Right. Bad Boys 3. I'm <laughs> not even a fucking citizen. I'm not like super He's fucking like, German. excited about a shit. Right. Obviously. So, let me ask you. Between Bad Boys 1 and Bad Boys 2, which one was your favorite? Bad Boys 2. I like 2. How so? Why so? Um, I like the fact that Will was fucking his sister. <laughs> wow. I don't know why, but I just like the fact that like yo, I got a secret relationship with your sister, but then when everything happened, you like nah, bro, he's not good enough for you. That kind of like, yo, you you my partner, son. Like we supposed to be best fucking friends, and this is what you think of me. I'm not even good enough for your sister. I think that was that should that should hit me hit me in that <laughs> in a sore spot, Between son. Feels. We're like damn, bro. Bitch. Like that's fucked up. You my best friend, son. I can't. I can't fuck your sister. <laughs> no, you can't fuck my sister. I don't care how, who the fuck you are. I don't even like strangers and shit. But no, um, I probably lean more to with Bad Boys Two too. But that's mostly because I only seen. I've seen Bad Boys Two multiple times. I haven't seen Bad Boys One as many times as I've seen Bad Boys Two. It's because Bad Boys One came out when I was younger, and Bad Boys Two came out when I was older. So I can more so young boy. Young, see. Young bull. Shut up. 
Uh, I can more so <laughs> see, like, m- more times than not, they would show Bad Boys 2 over Bad Boys 1 on, like, TNT or, like, USA whenever on cable television and shit. So... Would you let, like, one of your homies date your sister? Yeah, because I trust them more than I trust, like, a random-ass nigga and shit. So, yeah, I would trust them more than I trust... If one of your homies was, like, known to be, like, a fucking playboy, though, would you... You changing shit up in the middle of our conversation and shit? I so, for that, uh, no. For that particular nigga... Well, it's kind no. of the situation if, in Bad Boys, too, though, because uh, Will Smith was known to be a playboy, and he was fucking with a lot of girls... And then he's like, no, nah, you're not good enough for my sister because you fuck so many girls. Like, you're a playboy. You play girls. So I don't think you could be a one-woman one woman uh, dude. That's kind of how it happened. Like, that's why he said, nah. So if you had a friend who was a playboy, be like, nah, I want to change for your sister. Would you believe him? And, like, be okay with him dating your sister? I mean, I would have to be because my sister accepts them so until my sister says no then that's when I gotta say are you, no are you gonna be like yo sis like nah he not that he a uh, playboy though I mean I'm pretty sure if if my sister has been around me she would know the type of, or the dudes that I've been around and for that situation like him and uh, Martin and Will were partners and shit so you should know from the outside looking in like you should know no, but the you type of uh, person you, that when you're is. around that person you never give off your, your fucking deep shit like you don't oh, I have to go fuck this girl you can tell like from their no. from their aura what type of person that nigga is yeah but a lot of girls don't uh, no, pay attention to that. Order. Women is much smarter. Don't they don't are? Do that shit. Women they can do tell that. that shit from the they, jump. Okay, I think a lot of girls like that though. They like the fact that some dudes get a lot of women because they feel like okay, if nobody else wanted you, I wouldn't want you neither. In that sense too, I would be like you. You chose them, then so you fucking. So go bottom line, you'll be okay with it. Yeah. Okay. Also, my sister, my my real sister is older than me, so she's old enough or grown enough to make her own decisions. And I'm not gonna stop her from doing shit. That's what I said about that. So, like, Brandon, like, yo, you know, <laughs> be pat, like, yo, I'm trying to, yo, time me. <laughs> and me, your sister, but. <laughs> I'm going to be like, good luck and shit. <laughs> All right, that's what's up. I don't know if, I don't know if I would, um, if I would share the same sentiment. <laughs> like, like yo, my, my sister's, sister's my sister's, sister's a handful. It's different because my sister's younger than me because oh. I care for her, like, you know, like, she's my daughter type yeah. of shit. So, but then again, I also let her go free. So if she decided to choose somebody, I might just be like, you know, cool. You know what I'm saying? Because you have three older brothers who about that action. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, if anything ever happened, like, all right, exactly. cool. Exactly. But whatever. All right. Last topic. You talk, or I'm trying to look, I'm looking, scrolling through your Facebook right now. You My posted Facebook? or you shared something on One Gotta Go okay. between, like, I think it was like Chris Brown, Usher, and I don't remember that. Chris one Brown? Was, like, yeah, okay. All right. Reason. It was, uh, so one gotta go. Chris Brown, Usher, Neo, and Miguel. All right, cool. No, we're switching that shit up. Because one gotta go is too easy for most people. And a lot of time we end up agreeing on the same shit. So my. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Who gotta go for you, real quick? And that that little thing, who gotta go? No, I'm not not saying who one gotta go. I'm saying which one do you pick to stay to make the shit more difficult? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you tell me which one out of those four. So three gotta go. Stay, yeah, three gotta go. Which one can stay um, out of that group? I know. I'm pretty sure hmm. Miguel gotta go for both of us because he's newer than other three. All right. So all right. So those three, Miguel gotta go. Um. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think uh, Chris Brown gotta go. Okay. So who was who's left? That's Usher, Usher and Neo. And Neo. Uh, Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Damn. That's that's tough. <laughs> Fuck, uh, Usher and Neo. Um, I think Neo gotta go. I think I I gotta keep Usher, man. I can understand it. Like Usher, you tell me why. Usher, man, his music was fucking. A lot of his music like kind of made my childhood. It's because you're old ass nigga. That's for where I read fact. I'm old, we, but like we, we when his when his, I, I don't know if you were old enough for you make me wanna shut up, nigga. But when you made me want to came out... We're not that big of a difference between bro, age and I'm shit. I'm old and you're a little young. You're a little young bull. So when you made me want to came out and hit like the hat with the earrings, I used to I used to take my stepmom's... She had a little clip-on earrings. <laughs> so, Guy. Why did she have clip-on earrings? Why did she not have real, real piercings? And shit? Um, She did, but this type of earrings, <laughs> like this, this certain thing, she liked the clip-on, so she had the clip-on. Okay. So she had a clip-on. I'll put a clip-on on with a little fucking um, the scully. 
because he had that in the video. I was I was dancing and shit. You know what I'm saying? And that was that like was like my oh I gotta have fucking usher the, that nigga bro. So yeah. So you signing with the old nigga? I keep it usher, bro. Because he's older. Listen, he he's not older. He's just in, he's in my generation. Because he's yeah, that means older. Fuck you, yo. Be All right, who you keep me? Got a beanie with purple, purple lights in the background. Did you just Google it? Yeah, no, I went to YouTube. <laughs> Man, that was my shit though. The little fucking the the uh, scully with the earrings, bro. Who That's you keeping, bro? Good earrings. Who you keeping? Uh, Miguel got to go because he's too young. So there's no disrespect in that area. Um, I I rock with Usher because he was he's the most. I mean, he's the older one of the generation. He's the most mature, and he's the one that I grew up with in the 90s because the other two tough. went out in the 90s and shit. But he also has to go because he came out with OMG, and I hated the fuck out of that song, and they played that shit to the death for me. And I feel like Usher's newer music, everything past 2004 and shit. I can agree to that. His yeah. new music is trash. His mu- <laughs> yeah, it's, exactly. it's trash. It's moving trash. Moving Mountains was like ah. annoying and shit like that. I like, I like Moving Mountains. Nah, I like Here this, I Stand. Him fucking... Here I Stand, the album was dope, but his main, singles, that his whole, main single was that Moving album Mountains. That album was his last like, decent album for me. Like that, Everything yeah. after that was kind of like, all right, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, so... And on that front... So it's between Neo and Chris Brown for me. It's tricky on that front. Neo, I think Neo's a better singer than Chris Brown. Chris Brown's a better dancer, better performer, and he makes more hits, or he is in more hits than uh, than Neo. Yes, he is. He is in more hits than Neo is. Named the last uh, hit that Neo was in. Well, okay, but Neo's also responsible for a lot of fucking. Too. That's that's what I was gonna get He's to. He's a like, writer. Neo's a better. Neo's a writer, so he has more hits outside of his own music. So I don't know who I would choose between that and or between no, you me, gotta, Neo you gotta, being. You gotta know. Who you, who you gonna choose? Well, that's what I'm deciding, motherfucker. Who you gonna choose? Uh, and both of their first albums was like were two of, or are two of my favorite albums of all time, in my own words, and Chris Brown's self-titled debut album. So between the two of those two, uh, um, I would probably, I'm probably leaning more towards Chris Brown because I have more faith in him making more hits. You later guys. on down the line than Neo does because Neo hasn't hit, hasn't made any hits recently you kids Neo yeah. that's Chris Brown uh yes what was has. his hit what was his last hit first of all he has a song out right now with LMA called whatchamacallit that's that just shit. trash no it's not do you stop call it. cheating or whatchamacallit stop, stop it the guy is cheating your girl y'all nah bro I ain't cheating it was a whatchamacallit is the song dope though no yes it is it's you can, the you same can try. I like, I like the face you're trying to put on. I like the face you're trying to put on. You're trying to seem like it ain't dope. No, listen. I am i don't like the... I told you this last time. I don't like it because it's the same Chris Brown sound. It sounds like another Chris Brown song. My thing I, is... His song, his music is redundant. At the last the last couple years, it's been redundant. Correct. But as an artist and overall... As an artist and overall, I would probably choose Neo. But okay. if I'm trusting somebody to make hits later on down the lines... So... Neo or not Neo, um, Chris Brown was able to transform himself from young singer nigga that danced and shit to pop singer and rapper and be successful in every one of those lanes and shit. Neo tried to change his sound recently to like some pop shit, and his pop hits haven't hit as hard as Chris Brown's hits. Let me love you was fucking a a way bigger uh, song than any of the Chris Brown pop records that he had. Let me love you. Come on. I don't agree with that statement. What song? What pop song that Chris Brown big put out was bigger than "Let Me Love You"? He had "Beautiful People." Oh, sh- oh, well, that's a rap. I don't know. It wasn't bigger than "Let Me Love You." Can I say? Uh, so I don't want to say pop shit, but his um, his shit with Lil Wayne and Busta Rhymes was bigger than anything Neo came out with. What? Oh, um, 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 look, 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 look at, at me. me now. Yeah. But that was right. Ra- okay. Now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, right that's what I'm shit, saying. Though. Like, Chris Brown. R&B shit. No, that's what I'm saying. No, we don't talk about, I'm talking about between all those four artists, Chris Brown was able to switch up his style and still have success. Because he, lo- he, he ended up losing one. his voice a little bit. Yeah, that's yeah. what happened. Yeah. Dang. You got to be able to adapt to your shit, to your situation. So, yeah, out of those four, I would choose Chris Brown because of those uh, lines that are laid out. So yeah, so, rapper, R&B artist, pop singer. You would keep Chris Brown. Yeah. Typical millennial answer. Not a millennial. You agree yourself. You Usher are a millennial. Usher's new music ain't shit. And Miguel too young. 
And Neo haven't had to come out with anything but within the last I'm five comparing, years. I'm, I'm comparing the disc- discographies, though. That's what I'm doing. I feel like... And Chris Brown has more discography than Neo, too. Yeah, but we put in, put in the, against each And Chris other. Brown has better features than Neo. I don't remember the last feature. Yeah, but I don't care on. about features. I don't want to hear features when I see R&B, honestly. Like, when, I, when I listen to R&B, I want to hear just you. Like, make that shit dope by yourself. I'm not saying... No, I'm not, I'm not talking about, like, features that he has. Like, features that he is on. Chris Brown is on more features than Neo is on. Because Neo's good fuck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's why I say Chris Brown got to say. So you say Usher because you're old uh, and you like OMG for some reason. I, I, don't, I, like, say, I don't like OMG. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like OMG, all right? But we talk about 8701. Confessions. And like, 701 wasn't that dope. He had like what? He had he had great singles like I, a few. Bro, are you there. fucking kidding me? He had a song with Diddy on there. That fucking song with Diddy. Was Let me go ahead and put a track list up, son, because you bugging. <laughs> that's that's how I know you're young, bro. I listened to 8701. No, you can't say that I'm young. I don't think it you came out to while it. I was still alive. I feel like you heard it when you was a baby. I feel like you haven't listened to it recently, which you, is why you're looking you, up the you fucking list to it right when you now was a baby. to see what songs is on there. You remind me. You gonna name at least four songs. I don't know what you came to do. Come on, bro. You got it bad. You said I don't know. If I want to, you're not gonna skip over. I don't know what you came to do. Like you know the fucking rest of the words. I I do. I don't know what you came to do, girl. But I came because because I came Uh, to party. uh, 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 I don't uh, know what you came uh, to do, girl. uh, What you came to do? That song wasn't a fucking hit. Because I came to party. It was a fucking (laughs) smash. No, it wasn't. Uh, you got it bad. Fuck out of here. You got it bad. I can't let you go. No. You don't have to call. Get the fuck out of here. You have to call. Um. Can you help me, bro? No. How, like, how do I some son? No. You fucking bugging, bro. You name a bunch turn? of songs, but you're not naming the right songs and shit. Bro, you bugging. Okay, which, so which, okay who had the so better? So all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Who's better? You Who's need two Who Who's better? Who's better? This guy where you said two songs that are no. actually hits and shit. You remind me it was a hit. Remember. I don't know it was a hit. You got a bad one. I don't know it was not a hit. I can't let you go with a hit. You don't have to call No, it wasn't. Can you help me with a fucking hit? Uh, that is you it. turn was a hit. No, it wasn't. That is it. For the no, no, no. We got time. What what album was better? <laughs> Chris Brown's well, debut album was better. Than okay, let's go. What was the name? Of the you debut had popping. You had say goodbye. What's the name of the you debut album? Chris what's the name Brown. of it? It's called Chris Brown. Okay, I'm gonna oh, name right. you four four better singles that he had. Psh. I said popping. I said say goodbye. I said uh uh run it. I say yo. That's not his debut um, album, bro. Yes, it is. Let's go. Let's yes, look. it is. Let's look. You can look. Uh, I don't. I don't have to look at that. That's the thing. Run it with my person. I don't have to look at it. I know already. I just said that. Run it, yo. Say goodbye. Ain't no way. Say Ain't goodbye. No way. Say poppin'. goodbye, popping. Yeah. That's it. You named two. <laughs> I named the whole. Uh, Cause you bugging, bro. <laughs> so I'm right. Let us know. In the comments or wherever you're watching this, who y'all fuck with better, bro? Who had a better discography? Let us know. Chris Chris Brown, Brown. Brown. yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get that vibe. All right. So, um, there are some things I I needed to um address. Whoo, that's gonna be a good one, real quick. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, so recently, well, literally like like yesterday, um, Angela Simmons, the daughter of Rev Run. um, I was wondering why you sent me that. Her husband or her no sorry her ex fiance her baby daddy was killed. <laughs> um his name was Sutton. Uh so I just want to say uh condolences to her family. Yes, um condolences. rest in peace to Sutton and it is truly unfortunate when you know you you had to raise a child when the father is passed away. He was shot three times in the fucking head. Like so somebody broke into his house. Somebody broke into his house. I don't know if the intent was to rob him or what, but apparently they shot him three times in the head. So, yeah. Uh, I want to say rest in peace to him. Um, what else we got? A, a last, yes, rest in peace. Oh, also, I wanted, to, I wanted to um, There's announce a topic about cheating. A topic about cheating that you sent me. I don't know what you were about to say. What were you about to say? So I was gonna say that Power is going to have a spinoff. And it's going to be a prequel. It's going to be about Kanan. So, I don't know who that is. Kanan is 50 Cent. Do okay. you watch Power? Mm-mm. Oh, well, fuck you then. So anyway, um, so all you guys who do watch Power will follow us who watch Power. Um, you want to know why I don't watch Power? Huh? I, you want to know why I don't watch Power? No, I don't. Okay. So um, <laughs> 50 Cent is going to have a spin-off Chris found of than Power. Need. <laughs> and it's going to be uh, it's gonna be about, about his life his life growing up. So that's, that's dope. Um... 
What else? What you about to say? Something about cheating? Well, you sent me something on cheating. I guess we can end on this. You sent me, um, it was like a, somebody posted. I don't th- think they're relevant and shit. You sent me a topic of a, a woman cheating and saying that I understand now why dudes cheat uh, because it's fun and shit. And then mm. you sent me a topic of women cheating in 2018 and shit. Like I said, like we said before, black men don't cheat. So I don't know why you sent me Facts. that shit. I mean, for sure. I like, she must be comparing herself to, to white men. For like, white men or, cheating, or, the, or the mixed men who yeah. are like half black and Them shit. Fucking half but let me just say, shit. first of all, on the record, uh, black men do not cheat. And we've established this, but they do not. Uh, for like umpteenth time, black men do not cheat. We'll say it every, and, every episode. But like cheat. recently, we're, we're, we're discovering that a lot of more women are cheating. Because they feel as though black men cheat, or they, excuse me, they mix men cheat. So um, I don't know. I think a lot of I think that historically women have always cheated, but I think now it's just that they're getting caught more. Who women? Yeah, I think women are getting caught more cheating as far as when they used to cheat. Because they was like women used to be like super fucking. Discreet. No, I just think they're more open about it. There's no being. There's no way of being open about cheating. I think that, you sent me a post of a woman talking about her cheating. Yeah, but okay, that that was different. <laughs> that's her being as open as you can be about cheating. In but we're talking about historically. They, they were more discreet about it. They like in the past. Yeah, in the past they, they were, were more discreet. What I'm saying is there because there was no social media it. though. I mean, I don't think it's. A, I think where they're more open about it is just that women are more open about what they want in relationships nowadays, and they. Men realize that women may want sex more than they do and shit. So would you would you um stay with a girl that cheated on you? Would I stay with a girl that cheated on me? Uh, no, at all. Like, it's a deal breaker. Not yet. There's yes, nothing that she could it's do. Definitely a deal breaker. There's nothing that she could do to no. keep you. Mm-mm. As you know, I've been to a situation where I was cheating on and shit, and we kind of kind of didn't you stay. Kind of went back. Went back and forth to see what the fuck I was missing, and then I realized, yeah, it wasn't shit that I was missing. So. Yeah, I wouldn't go back to her as a full time relationship and shit. Uh, what did you send me? Where is this thing at? Damn. So. Yeah, you said. What? What are other? I don't know who BC Era is. You said she didn't be so fun. Now I see why y'all niggas can't stop. (laughs) Facebook. That's because yo women is trash nowadays, bro. Like this is that that's that kind of just like. They just doing like the same shit me. that niggas been doing. That's for, the thing. For I feel like I feel like what they're doing now is that they're be getting feel, equal. They're becoming the person that hurt them. That's you did post some shit about that too. You emotional ass light skinned motherfucker. What are you talking about? You posted some shit where if you hurt, if you uh, don't let go of the hurt that somebody did to you in the past, you carry that over to the next generation. Yeah, for sure. But that's that's not that's common sense though. But it's not common sense though. I mean, it's com- you know, yeah. it's funny. It's not. I common posted sense, that. So what the yes. post I said was, if you don't let go of, let me read it. From the bottom. <laughs> um, uh, I have such a bad memory, but it was along the lines of something like that. Like, um, let me read it. I mean, essentially, it's hurt people, hurt people. Pretty much, but <laughs> like, okay, it was. It said, if you don't heal what hurts you, you'll bleed on people who didn't cut you. That's what I said. And for you know what's funny? Like I had a few people who commented on that on that post and a few other people that sent me a DM or a, an inbox. And they pretty much said, Yo, I needed to hear that. A messenger. Whatever. Facebook. It was a direct message. The bitches made me pay twenty one dollars to send a direct message or a message and shit. They made you pay to I think it was for some something that I posted on Instagram though. I don't know if that's related though. They didn't Instagram didn't charge me, so I'm assuming that's where it came from. But whatever, yeah. What were you saying? Um, not it was it was just pretty much that. Like they really, I got hit up a lot. Of people telling me that they needed to hear that type of thing. Like because I don't think people are ever aware of what they're doing until it's too late. And that's pretty much what it is. Like a lot of time, like you could be you could be acting a certain way to somebody that you're in a relationship with, and you don't really realize that you're fucking with them or you're hurting you're them. You're doing the same thing that that the last person somebody was did doing to you, to you and yeah. for you it's a defense mechanism but for them like you're treating them like shit and it's like yo what do you like when you realize what you're doing then it's like alright wait a minute I need to chill the fuck out Usher had a song on Here I Stand uh, relating to that topic called His Mistakes where essentially uh, Usher was upset about being blamed by a woman uh, for the sins or be, for the flaws that a dude did to her in the past and shit. So yeah, 
I you know, agree. you know who doesn't have a song like that? Don't care. Chris Brown. Yeah. He don't. Right. He don't. Pop in. Yeah, All right. Still. Run it. You gonna dance? Say goodbye. You gonna dance it off? It's never the right time. You gonna dance it off? Yeah. yeah. It's never the right time to say goodbye. That's not the same. Come on, breaking up. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Look, <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, you can't dance away all your no, problems. No, nigga, because you didn't bring that shit up. You can't you dance away all you your problems, Chris Brown. You didn't bring that shit you up, though. You can't you dance away all your problems. You didn't say shit about his mistakes, though. You was talking about, oh, Nah, oh, bro, oh, you can't oh, dance away oh, your problems, oh, so. Oh, oh, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, like, oh, you can't, oh, hey. Oh, my God. No, you can't. <laughs> all right, listen. You're not going to bring up that one song. Like, Chris Brown had all hits. He didn't have all hits. All right? He didn't have all hits. Chris Brown has like a thousand tracks. So. Yo, Chris Brown got more music than any fucking body on the planet, son. So at least half of them. Yo, Chris Brown be like throwing. Decent. Chris Brown is the definition of throwing shit at a wall and hoping it sticks. So, yo, one of these songs is you're gonna like it. Sixty-four songs. Which one you like? He had like twelve mixtapes too. <laughs> this nigga threw sixty-four songs at us, bro. Sixty-four songs. And hey, which one you like? <laughs> Oh, you're like, like 10? Oh, so you're like 30 of them? All right, cool. Let's no, you're like 10. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're like, you're like 11 albums? You're like 11 songs, I mean? Word, bet. I, I made it. No, you did not. 11 out of 64 is not good. It's not good. I'm listening to the I want to go home. The album was dope. Element was on the album. The, the special edition. Of the I didn't like that song. Element was on. It was a This Christmas song. And it was Element's song. It wasn't a good song. It wasn't a good song. Yo, you gotta stop being so biased. You need to admit when the song is not a good song, it even a, if Element is on it. It's a great song. It's not a good song. She said This Christmas. That's it. That's it. It's just trash. I let you hear the she song said, called this Water. This Christmas will be the greatest time uh, of your life. Pussy, like, oh, pussy yeah. get wet like water. Uh-huh. Pussy get wet like water, but I don't call it. It's not a good word. The, 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 the lyrics are trash, but I like that song. It's got a nice, <laughs> it got a nice vibe to it. Pussy get wet like water. We spent, like I said, debate. Wow, caller. And our shit. Pussy get wet like water. We want to thank y'all for joining us today on the No Refunds Podcast. Once again, I am Team Tommy, aka the Cinder Black Man. This is Boy Too Nice, aka Mr. Steal Your Girl. That's not. But I'm not gonna really steal your girl because I'm in a situation. But um, I might, I might um. Bring her on the podcast. I might look at her. I might invite her to the podcast. I might invite her to the podcast. She might sit. She might sit next to uh, Tommy. She gonna sit in between us and shit. I'm not. I'm on. I'm on a corner because I'm. Oh, I'm away from all the her negative. She's gonna shit. be in between ours. But she gonna be thinking about it. Yeah. But I'm not gonna be thinking about it. Yeah, we gonna put her right here. We are the No We Funds Yo. Podcast. Thank y'all for joining Thank y'all. us. Uh, make sure you guys tune in on uh, YouTube.com slash The Boy Tonight TV. Also, you can catch us on uh, Spotify, on Google you Play, this. on this is, iTunes. This is not a- no Refunds Podcast with a uh, dollar sign for the S. Bam! YouTube.com forward slash Boy Tonight TV. I said that. Mm-hmm. I don't remember you saying that. Boy to nice TV. Boy to nice TV. Boy to nice TV. Should we do the drawing here or now? Oh shit. Okay. So um we uh told you guys a few weeks ago that we were doing a uh, giveaway because we want to give back to all you guys who listen to us. And you motherfuckers crushed it. We yes, said y'all did. So we said the first fifty, right? Go ahead. We at sixty four right now. Right now. So what YouTube is kind of weird where we can't see all the subscribers because because a lot of you like guys are private, private and shit. But what we can do is we can we can draw a random number and then we're gonna go in and find that random number and then we're gonna choose the person who is identical to that number who subscribed to us. Right. So um. So I got a number. I got a number generator here. Okay. And then on, once he picks that number, we we'll go to our subscribers on the Googles. Okay. And it says one through fifty. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press generate two times and see what it would have been and the third time is going to be the winner so out of one to ten the first number that comes up is 14 you probably can't zoom in on this because our camera is good but it ain't that fucking good the first one is 14 just wait on it son the second one is 39 i'm looking at this shit right now uh let's see and the third and final number winner of the contest is Number 31. So if you are the 31st person to subscribe to the channel, we'll scroll down, like I say. You we'll motherfucker, right like now. private and shit. And we will. We'll do it. We're going to do it on the podcast. I, I know what we will do. I am going to give you a personal art piece. He's going to draw cartoon. a picture for you, like we promised we would. Done by me. So I'm going to 31, right? Number 31. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It'd be better to count 11, down 12, from 50 and 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, but we're not at 50 though, so difficult. 
Oh, I'll have to count up from 64 Correct. to 50. And then, uh, fuck, I lost my count. No, you suck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. All right. So, our winner is um, actually a good friend of ours, actually, or a good friend of mine. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no friends. I'm our friend to that pushed me to the edge. Who's the winner? All right. So our, our winner is uh, our friend. Uh, you keep saying. Should I our... say her name? I don't know if I say her name. Mm. All right. Well, anyway, it's my it's it's, a, it's one of my best friends. Uh, her name is Janera. So she's the winner of our our giveaway. So you're going to be receiving a picture from Tommy whenever he feels like drawing it. And okay, so the people who did not win, make sure you guys subscribe because we will do another one at a hundred hundred subscribers. So. Um, make sure you guys keep subscribing. You're gonna get a picture for, drawn from Tommy. If you do not know what the, the his art looks like, I'm going to insert some of his art right now, and then you will get to see what you can possibly be getting. All right. So we thank you all for uh, for rocking with us, for subscribing to us, for listening to us. Uh, we talk shit all the fucking time, but you guys are apparently I like it. <laughs> you guys so, are cool. You know what I'm saying? We fuck with y'all, y'all. We really, really fuck with y'all. We thank y'all for the support. So, um, on that note, thank you guys for listening to the podcast. This is episode... 15? 14? 14? 15? 14, 15? One of those. But we out here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We out here. Episode 15, I believe. And yeah, it's No Real Funds Podcast. Boy, too nice, y'all. Team Tommy, a.k.a. Some the Black Man. We'll catch y'all in the next one. (gasps) Bam. Oh, wait. The next time might be my birthday. Wait. Oh, wait. What day is your birthday? No, no, no. Peace. What day is your birthday? See y'all later. My birthday is on the 18th. Today is the 4th. Oh, wait. So, two weeks, you two will, weeks we're going to do our podcast on your birthday. Uh, Maybe. No, we are. Sunday. Maybe. No, nigga. We are. We might be partying that day. We will party afterwards. No, we're going to party. Well, first of all, we're going to party the day before and I'm going to be hung over the night. I have two bedrooms.